Hello, my name is Arnie the Rock and I am making a video on how to hunt down champion scrolls in EOC. We will start off with the goblins. To first get there, make sure you are at the Thaldor home teleport lodestone. And then from here you run north into the goblin city. And I will be there momentarily. Okay, once you get to the Goblin Village, you notice that they are level 8, and you can also set down a cannon, and since this is EOC, everywhere is multi. So you can do one of two things. You can set down a cannon, and then you can start attacking them one by one with melee or fire surge. It's totally up to you. You fire your cannon, and then you just keep, keep killing them until you get your scroll. Sometimes the cannon will kill them before you do, but just do the best you can. Alright, the next place we will be going is to the Hobgoblins, and they are they are located they are located in various areas, but we will go to the crafting guild, so please be patient while I get there. Okay, so now we are west of the crafting guild where we are at the Hobgoblin Peninsula and there are a bunch of hobgoblins here, obviously. And so you can either do two one or two things. One, you can keep meleeing or be switch into mage gear and use Earth Surge, and so for this I will switch to Mage Gear. And then I will also be setting up my cannon. And then, after you set up your cannon, you stand right in the center of it and just kill the hobgoblins until you get your scroll. And don't worry if your cannon hits the cows on the other side. You're just here to get your scroll. That's all that matters. And after you get that, you can move on. Alrighty, next up we are heading down to the Hill Giants, and for this you need a brass key. You can either buy one from the Grand Exchange, or you can get one from under the dungeon from Edgeville, and I will be showing you where that is at momentarily. But from the Ed Edgeville Bridge you go east, and then south, right past the guards. Right past these guards right here. And there is a resource dungeon for these hill giants, so don't worry, I will be showing you a best place for those. So here's the shack where you put your key in, then you go down. And once you're down here, you don't want to kill these hill giants, you want to go down to the resource dungeon. Alright. Once you're down to the Hill Giant Resource Dungeon, where you place your cannon is very crucial. So watch where I show, watch where I place place the cannon. Fuck. Watch where I place the cannon, so that way you can see where you can get only just the eastern side of the Hill Giants. So from this area right here, you go up two squares, one and two, and you still have your cannon. And this is really important. You need to be under your cannon while you're firing so that way you do not wander off. So you walk under your cannon, you hit fire, and you'll normally get these giants right here. From right here up to here. And as long as you stay under your cannon, they will not walk away from a certain distance. And their weakness is air surge. So just make sure you keep that equipped for that. And make sure you also have your momentum going because momentum is now a basic ability and it cannot be turned off unless you use an ability or do something else. Alrighty, next up we are heading towards the Jogers in the Karamjin area. First off, you want to start off going to Alkarid so you can quickly get access to the glider so that way you can get there a lot faster. 
So from the lodestone in Alcaridge, you go north, and you take the glider. You can just right-click him, click glider, and you go to the gnome stronghold. Then from here, you left-click the guy who takes you to Karam Janaria. So you left-click him, click click glider, and you go to Gandias. From here, you want to go northwest until you find the Jogers. And these Jogers are weak to water spells. I prefer to use Water Surge to um, have a good distance on them. And in this area, the cannon placement is crucial, so that way you don't get too far off wandering away from them, having them wander away from you, and also to where you can get a good rhythm into how you're doing what you're doing. So now that you're here at the glider, you want to place your right here. You want to place your cannon exactly right here. Because if you don't, then you will have some jokers that will wander away from you. So you set up your cannon. And what you want to do is you want to always attack the one further away from you. You want to attack this one right here to the farther south of the glider. And these two right here to the east. So you walk under your cannon. And you just fire away. And what you're doing is, as long as you're hitting the ones to the far east, they won't be able to heal up. And remember, this is EOC, so after a while, you will, they will heal up back to full health. And you let your cannon do all the work on these two to, to your northwest. And don't worry about the spiders, because they'll just automatically run away. But as long as you're attacking these to the east and south, you'll be fine. And you'll have all these respond back as long as you're in a faster world. Alright, we are now in Karamja, and we are heading towards the Lessers and the Imps. We are going down to their resource dungeon, and there will be at least 15 Lessers and 11 Imps. So once you're down the road, you go into their resource dungeon. And cannon placement does not matter here, just as long as you are satisfied with where you set it to get a lot of creatures killed. The Lessers are weak against range. And so you want to be using bolts. And so myself personally, I set up my cannon right about here. So that way I can get a lot of them. So once you set up your cannon, you can either do pray melee excuse me, you can pray mage or you can just just tank it out. And with good range gear you shouldn't have a problem at all. So you set up your cannon and you just start firing away. You don't have to worry about the imps, just let your just let your cannon kill them while you worry more about the lessers. And as you kill the lessers, you hope for a scroll. And while you're here for the imps as well, you better hope for both of them. Because <laughs> believe me, it's, it's a pain in the ass trying to get um, one of them and having to come back later on for another. Alrighty. Next up, we're heading down to the Banshees in the Slayer's Tower. You wanna if you want to go to Caniffs, and so you from here you can either take the Fairy Ring. And I apologize, I do not know the code for that. But once you go down to the Slayer Tower, you want to go down to the to the um, bottom floor where the Banshees are. The reason why I won't show you the Mighty Banshees is because you can set your cannon down there. However, there are a lot of pillars, and it stops you from getting all your arrows or bolts back, even if you do want to waste them, and your cannon, you're just wasting cannonballs down there. So, first things first, let's get down into the cannon's bottom floor of the Slayer Tower. Once you're in, you just want to go east, and you see that there are a lot of banshees here. They are level 54, and they are weak to range, which is arrows. So you can either use a crystal bow or a bow and arrow with arrows. It's totally up to you. But if you use a crystal bow, you will you won't have to pick up a lot of arrows. And once you some of these some of these are one hit kills, some of them are not. But after a while, once you kill them, 
you will have a chance to get in the scroll. And they only have like about 1,305 life points, so they die really easily. Um, Crystal Bow is recommended, or Zeratipo, whichever you have, it will work. Next up, we're heading down to the mummies, and the best one for this is to go down to the um, pyramid because they're AFK able. So once you home teleport from to the um, bandit home, the bandit camp teleport, you want to go southeast, and then you want to make sure you get up from mage, and the mummies are weak to fire. So I'll gear up for mage, and then I'll put on. My, I'll set my spells to Fire Surge. And like I said, this one's the most easiest because it is afk -able. But I would recommend that you at least pay attention so that way you do not miss out on your scroll. So once you get down, you want to get to these four doors over here, and all you need to do is just focus on someone. Now here is a tip for anyone who has a Solomon store pet, like a Blood Pouncer, uh, Sky Pouncer, or whatever the hell you have. If you have, if you interact with them, if you when you interact with them, you can click Convenience, Scavenge. And what you want to set them to is weapons and armor. And once you have those set, um, and remind you, this is not required. This is just like an extra perk if you do have it. You set them to weapons and armor, and you click start scavenging. Now to get the mummies out, you just focus on any of the four doors. I prefer this one. You search back and forth until you get one of the mummies to come out. And after a while, the mummies will come out and just keep attacking you. And while your your pet is set to scavenge, it will automatically pick up any rune scimitars, any rune square shields that happen to drop. And like I said, this is AFK able, so just make sure if they do stop, if they stop coming at you, make sure you search them and reactivate them again, so that way you can continue AFKing them until you get your champion scroll. Since we are still here at the pyramid, we will want to switch over to ancient magics. And next I will be showing you how we get the skeleton champion scroll. Alright, the first thing you want to do is home teleport to Lumbridge. And we are heading down to the Lumbridge catacombs. Once you get to Lumbridge, you want to head down to the church. And the spell we will be using is um, Rock Barrage. So you auto cast Rock Barrage. You can use something lower if you choose to. That's totally up to you. I prefer to do Rock Barrage. So once you go down into the catacomb entrance, there's the stairs to your west, and you keep going down. And then you follow the rooms until you get down to where the skeletons are. Now mind you, these skeletons are level 17, so they will die pretty fast. And they only have like about 450 life points. You cannot use a cannon down here for whatever reason. I do not know. I guess it's because they're way too easy to kill and they respawn very fast. But once you're down here, it's nothing but a room of skeletons. And so what you want to do is make sure you have a bunch of them bunched up. And then you can kill them really fast, just like that. And after a while, they will tend to drop you a champion scroll if you're lucky. It's all random, folks, so good luck with this one. This one is also really easy. Alright, so now we're back in Canems, and we're heading back to the Slayer Tower, but outside of it this time. And we are going to kill the ghouls. The ghouls are weak to blood fire. Fire, well, fire spells in general, but the spell you do you would like to use would be Bloodfire Barrage or Bloodfire um, Blitz. No, Burst, excuse me. So once you're here, and the cannon placement does matter for this one, you want to stand right about here, right here in this little grass, and set up your cannon. Now, once your cannon is set, you will attract all of them towards you, but 
there will be one, a couple of them to the um, north of the planet that you cannot access. So you set up your cannon and you just fire away. And make sure you're standing in your cannon so that way you won't deter a lot of them from getting away. And the only ones that will just be running away will just be the ones north of the plant. So your cannon will take care of them slowly but surely. And as you're standing here killing these, your cannon will make the northeast ones that spawn right in this area come closer to you. And the only one that you still have to worry about that your cannon will take care of by itself will be the one north of you. Alright, next up we are going down to kill zombies. We are currently above the security stronghold that is located in Barbarian Village. I will be showing you two types of zombies. The normal zombies that are level 18 and the uh, dried, dried up zombies. So first we'll start with the normal zombies that are down in the gnome stronghold. And these are really weak. Once you are down the ladder, you go south into this little portal. And then from here, you go west. And then from here, you want to go west again until you reach this room. And here is nothing but zombies, but there are also rats and um, uh, fresh flesh crawlers. But don't let that bother you. What you want to do is you want to set your cannon up here in the center. If you want to use cannonballs, that's totally up to you. And you set up your cannon and these things are really low, so I don't, you, it doesn't really matter which spell you use as long as as long as it is multi. So you set up your cannon and you just and you just kill them until you get your scroll. And like I said, they're weak to they're they're pretty much weak to any uh, burst spell you decide to use. So don't worry about it. Burst or barrage. And once you get your scroll, you will be completely fine. It, like I said, it takes a while for them to spawn, but if you're in a high spawning world, everything will spawn a lot faster for you. And speed is one thing you do want to have when you're wanting your monsters to respawn, so that way you can get your scroll a lot faster. Alright, so now I will be taking you to the dried up zombies. Um, first thing you want to do is you want to be in self them, and you want to go east. If you have not set up a rope, what you need to do is you need to go south and into the swamp and then up to the rock area where the mummies are and you throw down a rope so that way you can get there faster um it is a quick short it is a it is a shortcut so that way you can get up there a lot quicker than having to run around through the south and always getting back up to the to the uh dried up zombies So once you go east from Sophenum, you want to climb up this rope. If you have it set up, go east past these mummies. And make sure that your spells are set to either Ice Barrage or Ice Burst. Totally up to you. But I prefer to use Ice Barrage. And then once you are past the tent, you go north. In the east. Now the cannon does matter. The cannon placement does matter where you where you place it. So as long as you're right here, you go east. About to this shadow right here, you want to set up your cannon. So after you set up your cannon, you you stand under it so that way all the zombies can come towards you. Any of them that spawn to the far west will come towards you as well. So you stand under it after you set it up and you wait for them to come to you. And you won't use a lot of cannonballs here because I, for some odd reason they're not far enough to where um, your cannon can hit them all the time. And after a while, um, if you're lucky enough, you'll get your scroll. One thing I would recommend though is if you have, uh, you can either A, wear a wired tiara, the one from the quest, or you can bring water skins, or you can use a unicorn, or also have vampirism is totally up to you and what you decide to do 
And then next up, we are going to go to the Aberrant Spectres. We have a Slayer Ring, Ring of Slaying. You right click it, click Rub, and go to Simona and Paul Vinich. From here, you go south until you reach this little well. You climb down it. And Aberrant Spectres are weak to throne, but I do not have any thrown weapons, so I apologize for that. So what I will be using is a bow, my crystal bow, or my dual crossbow. So we'll see how both of them work. So once you go down to the wall, you go north and then east. And then you go in, down these stairs. Now, the can I, I got the scroll before EOC, but I would like to show you where I place my cannon. And hopefully it still is a good place to set it up. Now remember... Again, if you if you don't attack a monster for a certain amount of time, they will go back up to full health. So what you want to do is you want to stand right here on this vine, set up your cannon, and you don't have to stand under it this time, but what you want to do is set it up and keep attacking the Aberrant Spectres as you go. And so far it looks like the cannon and rain the range is doing real fine for this one. Right now I'm using dual crossbows with um, roll bolts. You don't have to use them, it's totally up to you. Or you can use a crystal bow, it doesn't matter as long as you kill them. <laughs> and one thing I would recommend is that you bring herbicide, and if you want to, you can also bring a yak, so that way you can bank any herbs that you want to keep, any seeds you want to keep, or if you just want to kill just to get your skull, then by all means, please do that. Alrighty, lastly, we are heading down to the Earth Warriors, and because after EOC, there, is no more, there are no more skulls, please, and I beg you, please be careful when you're going out to the wilderness, and make sure you know, watch out for any PKers out here, because they will fucking kill you if you're not careful. And so what you want to do is you want to go north from Edgeville, and you want to... Yes, I fucking know PK skulls aren't. You want to go down to the rift. Now, the best way to get to the Earth Warriors, as long as you know the path to Bork, then you will be fine. If the portals don't send me somewhere randomly, um, we'll be just fine. Alrighty, before I go into the Earth Warriors, I would like to say that earlier in my video, I did say that mummies were the only AFK ones. Um, unfortunately, that's not the case. Um, <laughs> the Earth Warriors are also AFKable. And one more thing I would like to note for this one, make sure you also have your Charming Imp if you do not have one. It's 100k tokens. Um, make sure if you do have a pet, Blood Pounce or whatever, this will help. And pretty much what you want to do is... One second here, let me figure out where the hell it is. How the hell is it busy? Alright, so once you get your pet out, um, you want to left click him, click interact, just like before. You click convenience, and then you click scavenge, just like before. But this time you want to just set him just to coins and runes, and he will pick up a lot of runes, because hey, look at my inventory, I've gotten a bunch of runes just doing this alone from the um, Earth Warriors. Now, one thing I will want to tell you of how, I want to show you how the, um, the Earth Warriors are AFK able. So you go through the portal, and remember the Bronze Dragons will not attack you, but the Earth Warriors will. Here's where you want to go. You want to go west, and you want to stand right under this lamppost right here. And for a while, they will keep attacking you, I'd say for about 15, 20 minutes. I've never actually timed it, but after a while, they'll stop attacking you. And once they, once they stop attacking you, you want to do one of two things. You you want to make them re-aggressive on you. So, once I'm done killing this one, I will show you where you go to make them re-aggressive the first time, and where you go the second time. Alrighty. So, after they're, after they're unaggressive the first time, you want to come right down here to the south, all the way down to the edge of this room. And then, once you get here, you just go back under the second under the lamppost again, so that way they become re-aggressive. Um, if the other time you want to go back under 
uh, to make them re aggressive, you have to go through the portal to the uh, north. So once you go through the portal, they become aggressive again. Again, this this video wasn't perfect, but I wanted to make one to make sure everyone could use it as a good guide and gets everyone going to where they need to go. Um, hopefully everyone benefits from this guide. So again, good luck to everyone.